guys. Welcome to a, another review, but you'll notice that this is a global review, which I don't I don't typically do very often. Uh, the only reason why I have Charlotte here on the JB side is because she's obviously not released until tomorrow on the, JB, on the global side, so we'll just talk about her. Most people have already know about her from probably watching Clay's video or Hal's video, but I've, I've been requested to make this video just to, I don't know, just to see if, if she's good and I mean, the short answer is yes. She would be the best magic tank in the game despite a lot of other global tanks in the game right now that are pretty good too. And damn it, the sniffling, sorry. Uh, there's one ability that she has, out of all these abilities, that is not shown just yet, is the reason why she's better than any other magic tank in the game. Until there's uh, a few weeks from now, I'm sure there'll be a global exclusive tank that's much better than her, I'm sure. Isn't it always like the meme? Oh, they, they released this really, really cool unit with a really good banner, and then a few weeks later they slap a new banner and it's much better, so... Take that as you will, global players, of course. Kind of have to pra you have to be practice already for that. So she has the pro she has provoke, but she already has fifty percent draw chance. So if you have ways of making her one hundred percent draw, you really don't need the provoke. Although at the, at the same time, there's really rare cases where you would even want to provoke with her. Her chaining frames are a lot better on the. Global side obviously was changed. They made some. There's some missed opportunities with the disorder. It does not have light element attached to it, so it's just a non elemental chaining because most of the times your tank is not going to be equipping a light or like a elemental weapon, so it's just going to do a little bit of damage, honestly. Most of the time I, I've never even really used those, or the breaks that she has there on the screen. I've never used those, really, because they just, they just don't come up. The main ones I'm using on the on the JP side are the Veil of Sacred Frost, the Healing Glory, and the Knight's Command at times. The rest of her kit just doesn't see much use, besides the cooldown ability. And also the... The two at the bottom are very rarely used because they're Graviton Cannon Frames and those are not very common. And both servers actually, a little little less common on the on the global side, but still a little rare, I would say. The cooldown is probably gonna be pretty good on the global side because it gives you disorder frames, which are pretty decent. And also helps with zero frames which are also pretty decent. But again, no elements attached to them. So the chaining is just it's gonna be a single target or a single cast. It's not gonna it's just not gonna be that good. But they will the, the bottom ones will be good for missions. If you need like do ice mission and a boss, like a story event. Like I've I've done that several times. Uh for, for missions that you need ice damage or light damage or something like that. So that's that's basically what they're good for. Because they they honestly just not gonna do that much damage. Despite how much spirit you equip under her, it's just not going to be much because it's a single target. You're not going to be dual wielding this unit. Um, at all. And she can get to very high spirit, but she also has a lot of... Uh, ice and light protection, like ice and light resistance, which is really nice. I know she has quite a bit. There's like 70% there. There should be more. There's, there, there's the other one, there's 70% light, light resistance, so she has quite a bit. So if you need to fight something that's like ice, using ice or a light, is it very easy to gear it here for that for those situations. For the other elements, it's still fine, because you don't have to worry about ice or light. Especially for the first three elements here, most uh, event trial bosses will have the fire, ice, and thunder attacks, and she can gear... So, like, if you say, for example, oh, her ice resistance is already high enough, for example, I won't need to really focus on that. Now I only have to focus on maybe giving her Ifrit, so her fire is, or, or Phoenix, and then all you have to do is really focus on the on the, on the thunder. So it's it's easy. It's easy to gear her pretty pretty well. 
Here, your selection of equipment. It's pretty nice. I could just show you on the screen here, too. Of course. Uh, she can equip hats, of course, because her team R is a hat. Whoops. PSA. If you plan, plan on pulling multiple copies of her, at least two or more, get you need to Moogle her TMRs, because they're it's just really good. I've I've Moogled all four, I think, at this point, and they have four of them. They're just so good because you can equip them on pretty much anybody that can because most supports have the hat slot that you can equip to, so very good TMR, very, very good TMR, and I would never recommend chasing STMRs, but this STMR is incredibly powerful. In the sense that it has 20% it has HP on top of 20% spirit. And also these more stats to give. The light, the light and ice resistance. She can equip daggers. So Ulrich's dagger. The free one or Nyx's dagger. Would be pretty good on her. Although on the global side probably not nearly as good. Because on the global side it has a fire element on it. So can be a bit of a detriment. But maybe also positives, depending on which chain you're using and which chain frame they have. But she does have counters in her kit, so if the boss is absorbing fire, for example, you're just giving... Even if it's not going to be the very much, you're still giving health back to the boss. And that's... Despite how little it would be, it's still not good to give health back to the boss. You're trying to l make him lose health, not let him gain health. So... Overall, a very good tank. Lots of mitigation, and we're gonna, and also the, this uh, the, her TMR passive. You need to have that. I can't tell you how many times I've come across fights where she's gonna be down. Oh, she's gonna, just gonna die, and she goes down to one health because of her uh, guts ability. It ha it procs so many times, guys. It helps me. It helps you out to run. So you need to have that TMR as TMR equipped to her at all times. You cannot ignore this. It, it just gives way too many passive uh, stats and stuff. So we're going to skip all the way down here and show you why she's overhyped to most people. She has a c ability where she's able to, on our limit per, she's able to cover on top of giving 50% mitigation at max level. So hopefully everybody who's pulling for Charlotte has LB pods ready to max it because you guys need to, you need to max that limit burst right away it's it's her, it's her main it's the main thing that you want to focus on if that limit burst is up you use it at all costs it, it helps you out so much in fights you most fights i'm doing like oh that tickled because because you're you're getting 50 percent general mitigation on top of being able to cover so it's just insane four turns compared to i think it's three for her other one it's actually also four turns. I didn't know that. I thought it was three. Well, still, the mitigation lasts the same amount of time. So, by the by the time those four turns are over, you're gonna have it up again, pretty much, unless you are in a fight where you're not getting a lot of LB crystals or something. But it only costs twenty-two. It only costs twenty-two LB crystals. I know here it says this much, just to cut out the, the two zeros. It only costs 22 crystals. That's extremely cheap, guys, for a 7-star unit. That's extremely cheap. Extremely. <laughs> so that's really it. I don't I mean, there's not much to be said other than what's already been said. She has a way to, auto, or a way to revive, which is useful in a lot of cases. Resistant to charm, very useful. Already have 50% auto-provoke to her kit. So... In the future, I know this isn't really applicable right now, and this is a long time into the future, but there is an item, if I can find it. This right here, I've talked about before. This here gives 50% mitigation on an accessory. If you equip this, she is auto-provocable right off the bat. But like I said, there's not very many cases where you would want that. In a lot of fights, you're, you're, you're covering with magic, because there's not a lot of fights where you would need to provoke magic attacks, but there are... Some small specific cases where you'd want to do that. Uh, there, there have been like some story event trials and stuff like that where you you, you want to single target, uh, draw some single target attacks, magic attacks and such. But most of the time you're covering. 
And that's where her strength really is, not really being a provoked tank. She's more of someone who's getting in the front line and protecting everybody. And that's kind of, uh, it's kind of really suitable for her character. She kind of is that kind of person where she likes to give herself uh, for her team in a not lewd way, of course. Uh, if you did her side quest, you would know that she has that kind of persona. She likes to fight with her team. She's a very patriotic person, if that's the right word for it. Um, and that's about it, really. I mean, there's not much else to say. I appreciate if you watched this review for some reason and didn't watch Clakes or Howls, perhaps. I don't know. Mine doesn't have nearly as much production value, I'm sure, but I'm trying my best. That's what I've had. I've got, guys, I've got a headset as my, as what I talk through. I don't have one of those fancy YouTuber microphones. I can't afford one of those yet. So, and I don't have a webcam here to let you guys see what I, what I'm, what my reactions are or anything. So, that's another thing. But we're getting off track here. Sorry, guys. Hope. Let me know what you guys think about Charlotte. Do you, are you guys going for? Or are you just gonna wait for the next? possibly like a global upgrade for Lilith or another tank that you may have like Chow or something or the next global suits of tank that will probably outsh outshine her at some point although I I honestly feel like there even if there is a better tank I feel like even so her limpers is still going to stand the test of time so that's it guys I know I said that like three times already but I just wanted to get off I just wanted to let I, mean, I want to know what you guys think about everything, about what's going on with the game, what's, what do you think about Charlotte. Um, anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.